Hello everyone, um, we're going to talk about impact of social media on education and anesthesia today. So there are a number of platforms uh, for social media and uh, social media has been defined uh, as uh, websites and applications that enable users to create and share content to interact with other users or to find people with similar interests to one's own. So how do people actually learn? So there are different ways of learning. We can learn by lectures, reading, audiovisual aids, demonstrations, discussion, practice, doing, teach others. And uh, what we can see is that 50% of the people likely learn better by discussions. And when you teach others, uh, there is 90% of learning occurs by teaching others. So why is uh, social media such a good platform for learning? And uh, this is because uh, the social media allows participation in discussions. Uh, you can also actually do Facebook Live lectures, give talks. And so 70% of what we say, we remember. Okay, so teaching, we learn as we teach uh, holds good for this okay so we have evolved over the years and this is how we have evolved and uh, this is our uh, uh, present uh, you know uh, avatar so if you don't use social media this is how you feel you feel left out you feel like uh, you are in a uh, world of your own you feel like a frog in the well so uh, social media allows uh, you to come out of this well and look at the wider world. <coughs> so when you are actually learning on your own, uh, then it is personal knowledge and this becomes, I know because I do this, I do that. And when we are actually involved in social media, it becomes a shared knowledge and it becomes, we know because we have discussed this, we have understood this. So it is a common knowledge. It is actually a knowledge base, which actually increases. And uh, so I would actually like you guys to actually, actually see this video. So when you learn, teach, when you get give, and they're a very profound statement, and that's holds good for social media teaching as well. So when we are sharing, uh, we are actually learning as well. So uh, when we learn and uh, we teach, or uh, we uh, when we teach, we learn. So it allows oneself to build our own ladder. So that's what uh, social media has given uh, the power of learning into our own hands. And uh, as anesthetists, the problem is that uh, we actually have people who are working uh, in the state of the art uh, hospitals, and then there are people who are working in rural uh, healthcare centers. And uh, so there is disparity between how the resources are actually spread out or how the resources are available. And, and we can actually transfer the knowledge we acquire in the state of the art uh, to the uh, rural health care. It's not always uh, necessary that you need the best of the resources uh, to provide the best care. You can actually provide best care uh, even when you actually have the least. For example, you can give up down the blocks without sound. You can very well give them just with a needle and local anesthetic using loss of resistance blocks. So it's a low risk technique. It is how you do it safely. Uh, there. 
So our group, uh, our panesthesia is spread over the seven continents and uh, we actually use Facebook uh, in our thing. And uh, so what the social media has allowed us to is, uh, create and share content and interact with other users with similar interest. And the similar interest here is basically anesthesia, uh, regional anesthesia, learning blocks, uh, learning how to provide safe anesthesia and uh, to provide uh, safer care for the uh, patients and others. So if you look at the, um, uh, you know, these lectures, there are like six themes. There's about, uh, in the social media interaction, there's community and interaction, uh, communication and feedback, uh, learning theories, social media versus uh, traditional uh, didactic lectures. Uh, what is the role of faculty and professionalism? So the whole social media teaching actually falls under these six themes. So um, the, um, which platform is the best uh, for teaching, uh, how beneficial they are, and what's the benefit and disadvantage of academics and social plat uh, media platform? Um, the question is open to everyone. And we've been using Facebook and uh, looking at the various platform, we found that uh, to be a lot more interactive, allows uh, better sharing of the contents and uh, videos you know, discussions and other, other things. There are also disadvantages and negatives of social media in education as well. Uh, Patient-doctor interaction on open forums is a big no-no. Uh, there are obviously concerns about privacy and professionalisms. There can be hurdles uh, in there that people not able to communicate what they want to actually say. Or may, are people actually misinterpreting what has been said? And there are technical uh, challenges as well. Usage decreases with increasing age, and there may be lack of expertise, or there may not be network uh, for use of this. But there are a lot of positives and, and impacts, uh, positive impacts on uh, use of social media. So you get faster feedback, and there is increased speed of access to information. Uh, you ask a question, and there is someone as across the world who can actually answer it. There is increased speed and ease of communication. And then there is actually, this is learning without boundaries. And it is a more active process than didactic lectures. You can continue your uh, discussions, uh, you know, uh, even after the lectures or discussions. You can, you can pose any queries at any time and uh, you will hopefully get an answer. And it has also been seen that students and participants are more confident in sharing knowledge. Uh, discussing topics or sharing their thoughts on social media and uh, then in a, in a classroom. And uh, there is increasing learning engagement and uh, stimulated interactive learning uh, on the social media going on all the time. So there are some of these positive impacts on that. So uh, looking at social media in education, uh, it can be considered as is as effective as traditional learning, uh, versatile, customizable, uh, it creates a personal learning environment. You can actually uh, use videos, images, audios, and you can actually also control uh, over how you want to learn it at what uh, speed. It's you're not fixed by that. You have to attend a lecture from this time to this time. You have to be in the classroom. So it's, it's actually a very controllable situation. Question then remains, should it become part of curriculum? And uh, obviously, um, it's important that students are actually taught how to use social media professionally about the potential benefits and obviously uh, also uh, the you know downsides of using social media. And uh, they should also be told how to limit complication or unfavorable effects. And so there has been a, in a, you know, a publication on this, there has been a commentary on this and uh, uh, this uh, was in the Kennedy, uh, Canadian Medical Education Journal um, by the Canadian Medical Association. And in that they say with the rapid grassroots adoption of social media by medical trainees and teachers, uh, medical schools need to account for and incorporate social media within their curriculum. And the use of social media holds great value as a teaching and learning tool in uh, medical education by including students in creation of their own knowledge and by facilitating engagement, self-reflection, and active learning. And proactive policies and training can effectively mitigate risk and challenges associated with the use of social media. 
in medical education examples uh, like confidentiality breaches and professionalism concerns. So these can always be talked. So for some, the uh, social media is like, like an elephant in the room, you know, it depends on which part of the elephant you're touching. And uh, what we are trying to do is actually, uh, you know, all uh, uh, touch this uh, dots uh, in, a, in a way that we are able to actually see the clearer picture. So there are lots of theories uh, in education and uh, uh, one of these uh, I like is that uh, this is by Kolb and uh, he says learning is a process whereby knowledge is created through the transformation of experience. So that's what we do on our, we are actually uh, sharing experience. There are uh, very senior people, people post cases, people post videos and it's there. So uh, the, there are various theories and if you look at there are three main theories of actually learning. And there's one is uh, constructivism, uh, where the learner is in control of his or her own learning, which we are doing. There is cognitivism, uh, where the learner observes new behavioral patterns and focuses on new learning. There again, this, this happens on that. And there behaviorism, where the learner studies individual measurable behaviors, uh, repeats them until they become automatic or ingrained. And again, this actually happens quite a lot. So there is also another theory of uh, learning, which is called connectivism. And this is related to using of the social media or IT in, in learning. And that's what uh, uh, we are talking about today. So is it all that good? And we a few years back did a survey and we looked at uh, you know, what uh, was the view of our uh, members. And 70% of them said there is no disadvantage of using Facebook. Uh, some said there was actually hard to reference Facebook when required special legal situation. Uh, some said they can distract you from work during constant mass. And they can be patient confidential dignity issues and unable to print and save. Uh, Hands-on training and face-to-face -face interaction is missing there. And uh, that, I guess discussion sometimes can be diverted and offensive and there's the role of the uh, admins and the moderators comes in. And sometimes the learning can be incomplete because people do not follow up there. And it's get to get easy to distract uh, to other posts and other Facebook contents. And a wrong view of factor advice can be spread to thousands if it is not actually, uh, you know, dispense or it is not actually thought of. So, okay. so we do love to be positive as well. And uh, so as, as far as the ease of use was there, so maximum people were actually happy with this. And they were happy that there were multiple opinions with different expert uh, perspectives. And there were open discussion possible without fear and ego between junior and seniors. Audiovisual acts uh, and become interactive discussions. Uh, stimulates one to read further on topics. And free and, and anytime, anywhere access, especially on handheld devices. A good source of evidence based discussion, immediate responses, solutions are for common day to day challenges, and they're well moderated and structured discussion and exposure to recent advanced techniques around the world also occurs. And one of the byproducts of the uh, this is, is a RAD app, uh, which is our regional anesthesia database, uh, which is developed by one of my friends, Gurunath Murthy from uh, Adelaide, Australia. And this is available on the www.medicis.in. And uh, it is actually free to share. And uh, we can actually get uh, a lot of data. And uh, this data can be collated for individual or it can be for a particular kind of uh, surgeries or, uh, you know, it's, it's an audit tool, beautiful audit tool. Uh, it gives you all the graphs. It gives you all the uh, information you need for yourself, you can also be used as a part of your appraisal system. And this are some of the examples we actually presented last year, and looking at the number of the cases done, percentage of cases, various specialties. So these reports are created by the app itself. And so they can be used very well for that. And one of our new adventures is postgraduate teaching, uh, teaching the anesthetist. Uh, it is, uh, uh, using a uh, telegram, uh, which is another app. And uh, this obviously uses that uh, phrase, which uh, was actually very uh, profound when you learn, teach, when you get give. 
And so with this is giving back, and we already have more than 700 members in less than uh, five days. And uh, we have uh, very good discussions on that. So uh, to be briefly is a social media and education those great values of the teaching and learning tool allows students to create their own knowledge and facilitate engagement, self-reflection and active learning. Uh, proactive policies and training can effectively mitigate risk and challenges which are associated with uh, social media. Uh, this is our, our group. This uh, we have now 26,868. Uh, growing day by day, uh, almost uh, 23,000 uh, active members on this. At any stage, they can be anywhere from uh, 10 to 18 to 20,000 people who are active at times. Uh, this looks at the uh, various, uh, you know, over a week, or I think it's it's several like a fortnight, 302 posts, 7,000 comments, 24,000 reactions. Okay, so this is the activity. And this I've already said, there are almost 23,000 active members. And <laughs> our Sunday is obviously the most popular day. Uh, but the popular time seems to be actually on Thursday afternoon, or uh, I think this is there. And we have members from, uh, very young members to, to the uh, yeah, older age group as well. And the maximum number of people are from India, and, but we have people from Pakistan, uh, UK, US, uh, everywhere. And, um, and these are the cities, popular cities. And uh, we use case-based discussions. Uh, we have interesting cases posted uh, by our members. Uh, we have scientific discussions. Uh, we have video uh, discussions, other sound guided blogs, uh, PNS guided blogs, um, and uh, other interactions as well, as resistance, everything from you know, the most complex kind of things. Uh, times there are friendly queries that people want to know, we actually have that. Uh, people can ask for help and we actually help them in, uh, you know, finding solutions or this thing. And we sometimes also act like advice center as well for people asking uh, about their professional indemnity or, uh, you know, other advice like what they want to do. And we have affiliated journal. Uh, journal is General of Anesthesia and Critical Care cases and this is uh, by Pallavi <coughs> who's one of our members and uh, she's been there with us uh, from the very beginning and uh, like say our new ventures is already doing very well uh, PG topics and uh, we've had already quite a few discussions uh, in the last uh, few days and uh, I think uh, that's it for today and uh, thank you very much for uh, listening uh, to this and uh, I think um, whatever advices we get, we try to incorporate in uh, our social media learning and uh, teaching.